Peter Villiers. Yeah, man. So you know that you must start. You're going to talk about. You're going to start that. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You don't know, it's a girl braids up underscore hemorny back with another video. If you haven't already subscribed, if you're looking down below and that subscription button is on red, then what are you waiting for? Please go ahead, click that subscription button so you won't miss a video once I upload. Today we'll be doing a tutorial, a long awaited hair tutorial. This tutorial is a lemonade braid, a feed-in braid. I'm going to show you step by step how I achieve this braid. This will be on our client, first time client Antinia and we'll be using our Napiani because she has 4C ear. Now we're going to be using two packs and I've already started stretching one pack of the Napiani here. So Bridge of Family, I started off simply by trying to get her hair as stretched as possible. The only eat that we'll be adding to her hair is with a blow dry that she brought. It's called the Canarion Shine 1875. So that's what we'll be using today. Now, right now, we start off by sectioning the air just so we can get that hair as straight as possible using that blow dryer that I previously showed in the video. Now, I'm just twisting just to see how the sections will look like. If it's too thick, then I part it a little bit smaller. Guys, also take note. Uh, on how I blow dry this 4C hair. You'll also notice that I'll be using some products in order to get this hair as stretched as possible. Now also, you'll notice that when I'm doing her hair, I don't want the hair to actually pop out of the braid. Even though it's nappy on it, it's not as natural as her hair. So I'm trying my best to get this hair as stretched and as soft as possible. yes guys so you notice that she already has some of our products some of which i already have but right here is our shea butter for natural hair this helps to soften the hair so after applying that shea butter what i did was to blow dry the hair and section it in different parts but i'm going to eventually pull this out because this is not the original part of the style now we have also in the background garni bless she's always here with me so you guys can go over and check out her youtube channel she has awesome content and my favorite is the jamaican second language gypsy challenge say hello garni bless right over there now guys what you want to ensure is that when you're doing things like these or styles like these you need to achieve the best parts the most defined parts ever so you want to be careful when you're parting the hair ensure that the hair is defined the parts are defined my bad once the parts are defined then the hair will come out a little bit neater now she was sitting on a low chair so what i did was to actually move her so she could sit on a higher chair because she's a child she is short so i normally have my older clients sitting in that small chair that she was previously sitting in right here guys you see me applying a bit of edge control and this is so that i can achieve straighter parts once you apply that edge control it will allow you to see what hair is popping out of where so we need it to be up there straight parts because we're not going to be having this here looking all chaka chaka so we want straight parts guys please excuse me it's evening time doing this voice note or this voice over my niece is here with me and i'm actually paying attention to her also
okay guys so after i've made the first out of three sections i also want to make smaller sections so i could now start my feeding braids i'm going to start off by parting to the nape of the neck this is where our first feed in cornwall will be now guys take as much time as you'd like if you want to try something like this to get your hair parted as straight as possible if you're having difficulties please remember to use um, the edge control of your choice that will assist you in seeing the parts clearer also use rubber bands or clips just to get the extra hair out of the way all right guys so now it's time for me to add in i'm going to slow down this section so you see how i start off this cornrow i start off with the client's natural hair the client's own hair and then i start adding small portion of air guys there are various techniques that you can use now my technique is simply by adding the extra braid or air that will be going into the clients here under my small finger on the left hand side then swapping that excess braided here or here that will be braided under the thummy finger and the index finger i think excuse me excuse me if i'm i'm going a little bit too fast i'm really out of breath here so if you guys have already been subscribed to my channel then you would have seen a tutorial on how i do the knot list braid by adding hair to the clients here and to what i've already uh braided so i'm basically doing the same thing for our con roll okay guys so i'm finished with the corner i'm just patting out then i started twisting because i realized that i would have wanted to do the first one a little bit different now guys i'm at the top at the top we apply the same process we apply by starting off with the client's natural hair then adding small portions of air to the client's hair now what i did there when you saw me patting was just to see if it was too tight if i needed to loosen up on my grip in order for the client not to you know experience any discomfort so guys i want you to pay close attention when it comes to adding the air when i add it to whatever i'm going to move with simply the same way you just corn roll natural hair just regular hair and not adding anything so guys i'm not sure if you understand what i'm saying i'm kind of getting confused i'm a very wordy person so please bear with me as i try to explain this tutorial
guys one common question that most hairstylists uh, get asked is how much braid or hair do you apply to a particular braid whether whether it be cornrows or just regular plait it really doesn't uh, have a specific amount it all depends on the thickness it all de depends on the thickness that you you're looking for so as soon as the hair gets that thickness that you're looking for you could stop applying the hair to it now as soon as you feel as if or see as if the hair is becoming too tight you can ask your client to hold on to the beginning of the braid also if you notice that the hair is becoming too thick or too thin you either stop adding hair or you continue adding hair now right here you notice that for a while for a bit i stop adding hair that simply means that it was at the size that i really wanted and basically she has very thick hair and that's why we had to use the blow dry earlier on in the video so right now we're simply going to continue applying hair to the 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 feeding braid and we're gonna get to the end having something really you know proportionalized if that's even a word so guys again if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel we have different things going on over here at braids up don't wait too long to jo join braids up family you will be able to see things like vlogs cooking videos travel videos nature videos and tutorials how to videos braiding videos so this channel is created for everyone not just persons who are interested in seeing hairstyle how to achieve hairstyle even though that was my initial intention i've realized that you know videos can go viral if it is that you reach out to a certain crowd and you don't you know stick to just one thing i don't want to do what everybody else is doing i want to do me and if you guys notice on previous videos i'm a crazy person i do everything to enjoy myself and also to create you know that fun entertainment uh product or you know content so everyone can see so again guys click that subscription button way out wait for you don't know your jamaican girl braids up have your lock on the content stem so just continue supporting the channel help your girl get monetized you know we be waiting for that monetization for a while now and you know even though i'm hoarse i'm just still excited for that day to come where i'll be monetized
and guys i also want you to know that even when you're adding the hair in the corn roll it doesn't stop there if you get towards where you'll be plaiting out the braid and it seems like it's getting smaller you should go ahead and add in your braid so it's it's consistent you know the the plait is not smaller in some areas or bigger in some areas you know what i mean you need consistency see just like when we're posting videos we need to be consistent <laughs> guilty guilty as ever but you still need to be consistent now guys right now my client is really really happy she's comfortable she's smiling she loves the outcome so far so we're not going to dip the hair in some hot water you need to stare your client let them know that what they'll be feeling is the heat from the boiling water the hot water now as you can see i have some flexi rods at the end of this braid because the style that uh we want her to have is some curly ends so it's like lemonade braids lemonade feeding braids with curly ends now again i cannot stress this any more than i already have subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel please remember if you want to see more tutorials like these more how-to videos ways that you could achieve these beautiful hairstyle you simply have to just subscribe and click the notification bell leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this hairstyle and i really do hope guys that you have learned something anything from this video even if it is some craziness <laughs> that's really something that i'm always trying to bring across my craziness you know trying to make other persons happy okay guys so also you need to remember that otherwise from your you know hair that you're going to be using your combs your your products like your oil sheen your mousse and whatnot you need to have your towel you need to have something that the warm water should go in you need to have patience you need to talk with your client let them know that okay this might be a little bit uncomfortable or you could ask them if they're feeling a bit uncomfortable so right now what i did was to dip the towel in the warm water you know get rid of most of the water the excess water and i'm putting that closer to the corn rose now this is so that the corn rose could lay perfectly All right so i've already hot watered the end of the hair the ends of the hair and now i'm trying to get the braid as flat as possible bearing in mind that she has 4c hair and if you add a little bit too much product to it you'll see her 4c hair popping out if you don't understand the tucking method you can always uh get videos that will help you to understand how you could tuck these 4c ears a little bit better so we're down to where we need to add our muse i mean our muse i'm sorry i'm so sorry so guys you notice that i've added a little bit more mousse than than usual and this is because this mousse is for natural hair it's a blatter body brand and this is so the cornrows could look 
a little more laid and set this is to set the hair a little bit more and also don't forget the edges you know i love when edges are on fleek are laid and well slayed if it's not slayed then babe i don't know what that is so right here i'm just trying to give her some really nice edges working on her peak a lot of persons have excess peak and i don't want i didn't want to pull it into the cornrow so what i did was to create some beautiful edges for her to rock for her graduation okay so now for the final look this is my client and tina and this girl was rocking these braids as if as if what now guys please remember to go ahead click that subscription button if you want to see more tutorials on braiding here more tutorials on slaying these braids she rocks she rocks so well this is her graduation picture thank you guys for sticking around till the end hope to see you next time tell a friend to tell a friend